Right, so now you've got your cut material, try to line them up as much as you can, okay? Because obviously that will affect how your um, product's going to be. If you need to pin them together, pin. But obviously we're going to make quite a lot, so it might not be ideal. So try to learn how, you know, try to get them as sandwiched and lined up as possible. So what we're going to do, this is the template. We're going to draw using the corner so I'm using a grey colour fine trowel tip pen and then you need to move the two top corner down slightly and draw those like that so what we're after is those four lines okay so you repeat this on all of them so when you're doing bold productions this is the, the step you're just going to sit down and do it all. Right, so what I've done here, I actually done a quick stitch line for you. So those are the four corners you need to draw anyway. Okay, but if you're not very good, you can actually practice a few of them by drawing a quarter of inch of seam allowance all the way round. This is the opening, so that's where the filter, and obviously when we back, you know, we're gonna turn this round, so we call it backing out. So that is your opening anyway. So the black line is where the actual stitch line is gonna be. So when we go into the machine, this is where we're gonna start. So at the S point is the starting point. We're gonna start stitching from here, going all the way round to the finish. So there's a few key points I want you guys to remember. So where it's got the two stars, make sure to do some reverse. So as long as when you go in, do a reverse. So what that means, that it tie a knot. So it's actually lock down the stitches. So when we actually do, do turning this round, it's not going to pull the stitch open. So obviously those two are the area which will happen. So you need to do some reverse. And for those who's not been stitching for long, don't start your stitching there. You can start your, put your needles roughly around there and do your reverse. So that will prevent break needles or um, broken threads, okay? So you can actually start roughly around there. What happens is every point where the two lines are joined is where your pivot's gonna be, okay? I'm gonna show you with the machine. So what happens is when you start stitching, you come down. So this is where you need to pivot and turn and come straight all the way so until you get to the finish point 